Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says, which is larger, two to the power of square root of three or three to the power of square root of two? If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. So we could just plug this into a calculator and get the decimal approximations, but I wanna see if we can do it without a calculator. I have no idea how to evaluate something with a radical exponent. So let's see if we can get rid of some of these radicals. I'm thinking let's do both sides of the equation to the same power that might clean up these exponents. Whatever we choose, we're gonna end up multiplying this times that number, and also this times the number. So if we choose something like square root of three, this will be really clean, but this is still gonna be a radical. Or we could do square root of two, and this would be clean, and this would be a radical. I'm not sure which one's best, let's try the square root of three. On the left-hand side, it's gonna be two to the power of square root of three times square root of three. And on the right-hand side, it's gonna be three to the power of square root of two times square root of three. So this left-hand side is square root of three times square root of three is three. So this is gonna be two cubed. But on the right-hand side, square root of two times square root of three is square root of six. Two cubed is equal to eight. That one's not too tough. I'm not sure how to evaluate this one, but I do know how to give it a range of values. No matter what, three to the square root of six has to be greater than three to the square root of four, because square root of six is greater than square root of four. And no matter what, three to the square root of six has to be less than three to the square root of nine, because square root of nine is greater than square root of six. Let's focus on these two first. Square root of four is equal to two, and that'll give us three squared. And then three squared is equal to nine. So we know that three to the square root of six is greater than nine. But we also know nine is greater than eight, and the eight is two cubed. So we know that two cubed is less than nine is less than three square root of six. Let's copy this down, and this will only be true if two cubed is less than three to the root six. And then from here, if we do exponents to both sides of one divided by square root of three, that's gonna undo what we did here. And now we know that two to the square root of three is less than three to the square root of two. And this is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. And here's tomorrow's problem. It says three to the X plus three to the X plus one plus three to the X plus three equals 31 thirds. And it wants us to solve for X. This looks like a fun one. How exciting.